Some storms we feel really confident in the direction that they're moving, and others we don't. This has been one all along. We've been saying since last week we don't feel really confident about the direction, and we still don't, at least to say where the center of the storm goes, we don't still feel very confident on it, unfortunately. I wish we did. Uh, we'll feel more confident once it makes a northerly turn, which it has not done uh, still just yet. In fact, it probably won't until tonight. Uh, it, we did not think it would interact with Cuba like it is, but it's been uh, making landfall, the center of it moving along the coast. For the last probably uh, about nine hours now, and that is causing, I'm sure, incredible damage right there from the storm. But that said, it's still kind of holding its shape. Hurricane hunters have been in there. Uh, they were in there last night again, and they're still finding all the strong winds. The pressure is still there, and it's going to move back eventually over this really warm water. Here's the latest if this storm tracks farther towards the west, that puts it over water for longer again, which allows it potentially to strengthen. This water is incredibly warm. But this is a wind forecast. You get the idea. By tonight, we're going to have hurricane force winds in the Keys. That is probably going to continue there for about 24 hours, hurricane force winds. So that is going to cause that prolonged period of the wind is going to cause incredible damage. This is tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., 104 mile an hour winds in Key West. With this one model I'm looking at, it puts the center of this going right over Key West. That puts all of the storm surge anywhere to the east of it. So we're going to see all of the keys getting storm surge. Still some storm surge in Miami, although Miami, I will tell you, things are probably looking a little bit better than we thought 24 hours ago. The west side of Florida, not the case. And there are a lot of people on the west side of Florida waking up this morning and seeing these models that have trended farther towards the west. And that's really bad news for Naples, who I think is going to take a huge hit from this up towards. Fort Myers, up towards Port Charlotte, up towards Tampa, uh, St. Pete area. The rain's already starting, so the time to move is kind of diminishing now. You, this, you got to wake up this morning, make a decisive move one direction or the other, and then hunker down because we're, uh, we're already seeing the rain. Uh, we're going to see these winds, these winds getting up to tropical storm force already, and it just gets worse for a long time. Guys, because this move is moving towards the north, uh, impacting everybody in Florida, it's going to be a long duration event. It's not going to be in and out, it's going to be a long duration event for them. And the farther west it goes, this becomes a bigger problem all the way up the west coast of Florida. Yeah, it has certainly changed from what people originally expected. Rick, thank you so much. Thanks, Rick.